Entelbucher Mountain Dog The Entelbucher Zenenhunt or Entelbucher Mountain Dog is a medium-sized herding dog. It is the smallest of the four regional breeds that constitute the Zenenhunt dog type. The name Zenenhunt refers to people called Zen, herders in the Swiss Alps. Entelbuch is a region in the canton of Lucerne in Switzerland. The breed is also known in English as the Entelbuch Mountain Dog, Entelbucher Cattle Dog, and similar combinations. History one writer believes that all of the Zenenhunt breeds are descended from large molossers brought to Switzerland by the Romans in the 1st century BC however, the Entelbucher was only described as a separate breed in 1889, although for many years little distinction was made between the Appenzeller Zenenhunt and the Entelbucher Zenenhunt. In 1913, four bobtail Entelbucher Zenenhunt were shown to Albert Heim, an advocate for the increasingly rare Zenenhunt breeds. The breed was entered into the Swiss Kennel Club stud book, but World War I intervened, and at first after the war no examples of the breed could be found. The first breed club was not formed until 1926, 16 dogs of the type were found in 1927, and the breed slowly was restored. Although originally kept for guarding and herding, today the breed is usually kept as a lively companion. Four Breeds of Zen and Hunt The Four Breeds of Zen and Hunt, with the original breed name followed by the most popular English version of the breed name, are it shares many characteristics of other mountain dogs from around the world. Appearance The female Entelbucher Zenenhunt is a square, the male is a longer, less square, sturdy, medium-sized dog. It has small, triangular ears and rather small brown eyes. The head is well proportioned to the body, with a strong flat skull. The long jaw is well formed and powerful. The feet are compact, supporting its muscular body. The smooth coat is close and smooth with symmetrical markings of black, tan, and white. This tricolor coat has white on its toes, tail tip, and the chest and blaze where the fur is soft and fluffy, the tan always lies between the black and the white. It has muscular, broad hips. The hocks are naturally well angled. The tail is sometimes docked, a practice which is now prohibited by law in many countries, or it may have a natural bobtail. Height at the withers is 19 to 20 inches, 48 to 50 centimeters, and weight is 45 to 65 pounds, 20 to 30 kilograms. Temperament As with all large, active working dogs, this breed should be well socialized early in life with other dogs and people, and be provided with regular activity and training. Temperament of individual dogs may vary. The standard says that the breed is good-natured and devoted towards people familiar to him, slightly suspicious of strangers. Kennel Club Recognition the Entelbucher Zenenhunt is recognized internationally by the Fédération Sinologique Internationale, using the standard written in the breed's native Switzerland. Other national kennel clubs not affiliated with the Fédération Sinologique Internationale also recognize the breed, often writing their own versions of the breed standard. The Entelbucher is recognized by the Kennel Club, UK, and the Canadian Kennel Club and placed in the working group. The United States Kennel Club, US places the breed in the Guardian Dog Group. It is not yet recognized by the New Zealand Kennel Club or the Australian National Kennel Council. The breed is recognized by numerous small clubs and internet-based registries, where it is promoted as a rare breed for puppy buyers seeking a unique pet. The breed was accepted into the American Kennel Club Stud Book on December 1, 2010 and became eligible to compete in the Herding Dog Group on January 1, 2011. Health Issues Inbreeding due to the small foundation stock numbers has led to Intelbutcher suffering from congenital defects, the most common of which is hip dysplasia. Hemolytic anemia also is known to occur. Progressive retinal atrophy, PRA, is also present in the breed. The National Entelbucher Mountain Dog Association, NEMDA, in collaboration with other organizations, is working to eliminate these issues from the breed through responsible breeding, genetic testing, and fact dissemination.